What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player of the week player pack review. It's an interesting one. We've got a couple of interesting players here, including a one-touch pass, Cristiano Ronaldo, and also Declan Rice. And then we've got McTominay as a super sub. And there's a couple of other interesting players in here that haven't featured yet as a player of the week or also as a player that has been highlighted. So you have the likes of Kanate, you have, as I said, McTominay, you have Ward, the Welsh keeper, you have Sabitzer, who's obviously uh, signed for Manchester United now. Um, there's a couple of interesting ones in here um, uh, that I think could be very, very, very good, uh, depending on what kind of squad that you have. So we're going to go through them. It's nice to see Lukaku back as well. Uh, he's been a while since he's had a featured version. So, yeah, look, this is a fairly decent pack. I would say, obviously, Ronaldo and Rice are two of the big ones. Konate, I would also throw Schlotterbeck in there as well. Uh, very decent players. But, yeah, I mean, look, we'll go through it, right? So we will start with Gunnarsson, the centre-back, the Icelandic centre-back. 90 defensive engagement, but what lets him down there is his lack of height for a CB. I would definitely play him as a DMF if you are going to be playing him there because he is a destroyer. So it's not going to really make a difference if you play him DB or CB. He does have blocker. He does does have a true passing and rising shot as well as fighting spirit so a kind of unique blend of skills he doesn't have unwavering form though so i think his lack of pace his lack of defensive awareness and his lack of height for a center back is probably a big no for me so i think if you pack him i don't think he'll be making many squads i'd be interested to see if anybody really plays with him we've also got mctominy who is fairly decent with the aggression with the dribbling with the tight possession i think this is probably one of the best cards uh, out there i mean if you look at his graph it is pretty much um you know like really balanced like pretty much balanced to the max uh he's also got low lofted pass he's got super sub to come on he's got long range shooting uh dribble or player skills and he's also got a true passing way to pass and low off the pass so i think this card is an extremely generous version of him i do think that he plays better as a cmf if you wanted to play there um but yeah like right-sided midfielders that have whole players such as foden such as mctominy these guys are are really really dominant at the moment that whole player player skill style is is ridiculously overpowered because of the positions that they pick up so do with that as you wish lads there is a lot of stuff um with them cards that make it worthwhile is mctominy going to get in ahead of somebody you know that you've already established as your right midfielder or center midfielder probably not i would say that this card is just slightly uh too average in my opinion but it depends when you're starting off if you've downloaded the game recently and you're looking to you know instantly upgrade your squad if you do get this guy, whether it's a free pull or it's, you know, putting money in, uh, I genuinely do think he could be a very dominant centre midfielder. He wins a lot of ball. I play with a couple of different versions of McTominay and he does win a lot of ball. Next up, we have got Lukaku, 93 centre forward, uh, which is fairly high. His form is inconsistent, which lets him down a little bit. And I would also say that his lack of acceleration and tight possession, as well as the balance, is going to kill this card. I mean... He's going to be like a kind of a worse version of Oshman and Haaland. And those guys are hard to play with at the moment. Obviously, Haaland's got super sub. But yeah, look, it's nice for Lukaku to have a card back. Uh, it's been a while. He does have one touch pass, which is a nice addition to this card. But I do think that the rest of his, his card is just, it's not good enough. Look, obviously, everyone is going to be able to play with Lukaku. But I think he's too slow. His finishing at 87 and his speed at 84 is fine. Defensive awareness 86, that's good. But I think that acceleration, balance, and tight possession are going to kill this card, depending on how you play him. If you want a target man in the box, you know, brilliant. You can use him as that, and you can swing ball into him, similar to how you might use the likes of Jan Koller, or how you might use the likes of Lewandowski, or somebody like that. But I do think that there are better than him, and I don't think I would spin um, specifically with the view of getting Lukaku. Next up, we have got Sabitzer, obviously Manchester United's latest sign-in. We signed him. Uh, very good passing skills obviously he's got the inconsistent form the same as Lukaku which is a pity on this card because it does look like a very decent card other than that Sabitzer obviously is 92 center midfielder um, he's got 83 pace with the acceleration the ball control tight possession low pass all very good stats man even the stamina I do like that he's a whole player as well they're really pushing that kind of like whole player uh, role 
of being an extremely attacking centre midfielder. You know, you have the likes of Pedri, who was released as the player of the week a while back as well, probably the best to hold player card on the market at the time. Um, but I do think that this guy is more of an engine man. Obviously, you're not going to get anything defensively out of him with that tackling at 65, but the aggression is high 70s. So that is another interesting enough card to take a look at, especially the fact that he can play pretty much any position up forwards uh, or left or right or centre mid uh, or attack him in. so he is a bit of a utility passer uh, or a utility player with that passing skills and the one touch pass true passing and then he's also got good shooting skills and and shooting at attributes as well Danny Almo the Spaniard he is a very decent player as well standard form but he's got super sub which always makes him worthwhile to have on your bench double touch which I like to see one touch pass which I always like to see and then we've also got true passing he does have a trickster, amazing run, speeding bullet, incisive run, and long ranger. So he's a very good mix of AI playing styles, which means that the AI, if you're playing against, you know, if you're playing against somebody that lets the AI defend for him, you should have as many um, different play, play styles here. I will do a video on this. I'm always pushing it back, but it is important, especially with V2.5, as a lot of stuff will be coming to that. Um, but I do think that his dribbling is probably the highlight of this card. His dribbling and acceleration is he, in my opinion, as good as some of the other wingers there? No, I don't think so. I think once you go below 85 speed and once you go below 90 acceleration, I, I just don't think that the, that the cards are going to be as good as, say, the likes of Dembele, even standard Dembele or Sané or Diaz or Maximin or one of those guys, right? He does have some nice player skills, but yeah, he's a miss for me, in, in my opinion. I think that they should have given him at least 90 acceleration and 90 balance, and that would have brought the card in more in line with some of the other dominant wingers there as well. Konate, the Liverpool French uh, man, he is a very decent player as well, unwavering form, very similar to Open Meccano. He's got the height, he's got the pace, he's got the power um, with the speed, the stamina there. A bit slow in the acceleration. Obviously, you can't train these players up. They're locked at this rating, at a max rating. He will go to a 96 overall. Um, visually, I see a lot of people on Twitter talking that he's a 96 overall. I mean, that's only a visual thing. He's still going to play like these stats at 93 overall. That's only a game plan boost that you get visually. I've done a video on that. But yeah, physical uh, contact. The speed is fairly decent. Tight possession is a little bit low with the way the game plays at the moment, but not killer on this card. But it's his defensive awareness, man. I don't know why that's so low when he's a 93 overall. You know, there's a lot of silly attributes in here that boost up his overall. I mean, this card feels like, to me, more like an 88 overall center back, genuinely. Now, he does have interception and blocker. He does have all the defensive player skills that you could possibly want. But I do think that this card is lacking on a couple of key areas most uh, specifically he has low defensive awareness and on top of that he's low acceleration and if you don't have one of those above 90 you are going to see it compared to other defenders that you could potentially be using next up lads we have susbo sly this guy is tearing it up at the moment obviously he's tearing it up he looks to be a bit of a beast and this is a fairly decent card uh, i do think that if you are going to be getting him Again, you have that issue with the acceleration. So it's a different type of winger that you are going to be playing with. And he's not a prolific winger. He is an actual creative playmaker. So, I mean, look, if you are going to be getting him, you're not going to be dependent on your pace. You're not going to be dependent on your trickery. It's more about kind of having a passer, kind of a cut in um, kind of winger that's going to be taking a few shots on goal, you know, uh, sweating it across the box for tap-ins to your centre forward. I do like the fact that he's very balanced with the tight possession, the dribbling and the ball control. Um, plus he's tall, you know, he kind of reminds me of Gakbo that they released. He's not an outright winger. He's not an outright kind of attacker, centre forward, kind of SS type player looking for goals. He's kind of somewhere in between. So as a creative playmaker, sometimes it's nice to have different AI playing styles in there. Um, and this guy looks pretty decent, in my opinion. One touch pass. Kind of an interesting card. I don't think that he's going to have any advantage to playing him over the likes of Neymar or over the likes of any standard card that has got like blister and pace. But the way that the pace is working at the moment is it's kind of broken because you don't really need to have blister and pace in your squad unless you're able to take on players very skillfully. We've also got Schlotterbeck. This guy has been a hidden gem for me for quite a while, a wavering form as the norm. He doesn't have blocker. That's the only thing on this card that lets it down. The standard card is the same, but he does have heading, weighted pass, man marking, interception, aerial superiority, sliding tackle, acrobatic clearance, and fighting spirit. And we also have weighted pass thrown in there, as well as acrobatic finishing for those headers when he comes up chasing a last minute goal in the dying moments. So look, he is very, very decent. Obviously, I think there are better than him out there. 
the acceleration might let him down a bit, but he will play like Van Dijk. That's exactly how he will play it. Look, lads, there's about six different types of players and how they play per position. And once you kind of figure out, you know, okay, this guy plays like this, and you look at how they play and look at their stats and look at how they're built, they're kind of like archetypes that the other players are built upon. Like, that's just the way game development kind of works. You know, you're not going to have, like, 15 or, like, 100 different play styles or different, um, you know, player models, right? But I think eFootball has done a good job of kind of balancing that. Now, the one thing that lets him down, in my opinion as a centre back here is even though he's extremely tall he doesn't have great aggression or defensive engagement so that is a little bit of a concern especially when he doesn't have blocker for getting those passing lanes you know you can get centre backs that have everything that he has and more so that's just something to keep in mind and now we are on to the big two boys here right best to last right so we'll start with Ronaldo 96 overall I'm going to get up another version of Ronaldo right here in a second but the thing that highlights this Ronaldo is obviously that it is a Portuguese version of him. 92 overall with the offensive awareness. He's 96 overall for his card. 92 offensive awareness, 92 kicking power, 90 jump, 83 tight possession and 87 finishing. So I would say this is probably one of the most, um, one of the most balanced cards that they have released with V2.4.2 gameplay and with V2.5 around the corner. I think this is probably where the gameplay is being steered, right? And you can see that they've kind of cherry-picked, to get him to a 96 overall, they've kind of cherry-picked his stats perfectly. A lot of these cards with the player of the week and a lot of the cards that they released, the premium ones, you know, on the surface, they look grand and they look good and they look like the best versions of them. But when you kind of strip it back and peel away a couple of layers of the card, you see, oh, you know, He's got 74 lofted pass here. Do I really need a 74 lofted pass attribute with Cristiano Ronaldo? That's going to boost up. Like, look, what I mean is that, like, for his for his low pass and lofted pass there, um, and on top of that then as well, you've also got, um, say, the physical contact and stuff. That probably boosts the card up from a 93 to a 96. So don't pay too much attention to the overalls. Pay attention to the individual stats and base him on players you've already used, like, to play 100 matches and know exactly how he'll handle, right? Now, Ronaldo is a monster in the game, lads. His standard form does let him down a little bit, but I genuinely think he is unreal in the front of the box. He's kind of like Haaland, and this card looks insane. Long-range shooting, acrobatic finishing, knuckle shot, ridiculous, powerful shots that you can do. First-time shot as well is going to be for, you know, first-time crosses in, and you're just on the end of it with Ronaldo. One-touch pass is huge for this card as well because it means that you don't need to worry about his low pass or lofted pass um, uh, attributes or ability. Here, that is one thing that, you know, a lot of people like to focus on if they play one-touch passing. I don't play one-touch passing, but it always helps when you have it as a player skill rather than boosting his player actual attribute of low pass up to 85 um, but I think, yeah, the one the one thing that you're going to notice about this Cristiano Ronaldo card is that even though his balance is a little low uh, here, it, he, he still is able to dribble quite well for a big man, like for a big kind of player that they kind of base um, as a big player. Like, so I hope that makes sense. Basically, you know, as I said, you know, the likes of Haaland, Ashi, all those guys, they have a different kind of running style than the likes of Romario, the smaller, more versatile players. So, yeah, I will definitely be trying to spin for Cristiano Ronaldo on the stream later today and uh, testing him out so it will be interesting to see we already have as i said we have this version of him so this is a 96 overall version of him as well um which we have here and he's a very decent kind of player as well if you do have this version of ronaldo 92 offensive awareness 92 kick and power 81 acceleration and speed is 84 and you also have then as well the tight possession now you can make that card even more in line with what this card is if you put the acceleration and the offensive awareness down just a fraction and pump up the dribbling so straight away you're going to get very similar stats to him um the only thing you're kind of lacking here with that card is the fact that he won't have his he his heading as good but everything else is going to be identical the kicking power he's going to have more speed more acceleration more stamina more balance in this version of the card if you have the Cristiano Ronaldo pack that they released for Manchester United as a club pack but if you've missed out I think this is the best version of him that they have released especially with the fact that he has got that unique place playing skill um which is one touch pass and then last but not least we have Declan Rice as a DMF anchorman there's been multiple versions of Rice this is by no way the best version of him I still think that there's been way better versions of him that we have reviewed including the free version of him that you could get with the nominating contract but he does have first time shot one touch pass way to pass low off the pass interception man marking slide and tackle i think they should have thrown blockered him here and that would have made this card very unique 
Um, and I think that's the way that they should go in future packs is that, you know, every card in the player of the week should have something unique about them, not just stats. That's just my opinion. But you know what you're getting with Ricey, lads. Ricey, Rice, baby. You know what you're getting with him. One of the best anchor men in the game. I think if you're playing a very good box-to-box -box beside him, like Barella or like uh, Goretzka or somebody like that, that is able to cover a lot of grass very quickly, then I definitely think Rice is one of the best standard kind of players. You know, if you have obviously got Makalele or Vieira or Rijkaard, or Beckenbauer playing in that DMF kind of like sweeper role, you know, he doesn't really compare to them, especially this card doesn't compare to him. But if you are looking for a very good DMF that can bring the ball forward, he's got excellent passing and tight possession as well as very solid defense. So that is something to keep an eye on. So that is it, lads, for the, another player of the week. I think that's everybody that I covered. Uh, obviously, Ward, the goalkeeper here, he's just an average goalkeeper um, compared to what works at the moment. I know that a few people will love that they bring in a couple of goalkeepers like this. Uh, obviously, I'd like to see a couple of the Irish players come as well. So 88 reflexes make him more than uh, worthy. I mean, you could actually play him in your squad if he's on, you know, up arrow or whatever. Um, but other than that, he doesn't have um, long throw. He does have low punt and he does have standard form so that is it for me lads i'll be back quite soon hope you enjoyed this longer than normal player of the week video and uh, i'll be back in a bit peace